Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's question is, why do we accept second best? I've got my notes with me so that I can prevent myself repeating myself too often. So what do I mean when I say, why do we accept second best? Typically, what I mean by that is when we go shopping at the end of each month and we're walking down the aisle selecting the groceries we want and we come to, say, the coffee, for instance, that we love and we look at the price and we are blown away by how expensive it's become. But what we say to ourselves mentally in our mind is that's so expensive I can't afford it anymore. We then look at the shelf and find coffee that's cheaper, which means we're actually downgrading ourselves to second best. Hi, I'm Gunter Wallendorf, entrepreneur, socialpreneur and edupreneur. I've made it my mission to uplift and educate as many South Africans as I can before I die. I'm here to help you change your life. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, why would you do that? The answer is very simple, really. If I can help you change your life, and you help someone else change their life, and they then help someone else change their life, it won't be very long before we have very low poverty levels, very low crime rates, and a thriving economy in South Africa. And I don't know one South African that doesn't want that. So joining me weekly to get your booster shot of life-changing advice the way I see it. So the question today was, why do we accept second best? Have you ever asked yourself the question, why can't I get ahead in life? Why do I never seem to have enough money? I'm sure you have, but for many of you, I'm sure you haven't come up with the answer yet. So here's the truth. But the problem with the truth is, it's normally so simple that many people, mentally, they can't accept it because they're looking for something. It has to be something more difficult in life. It has to be something external to them that's causing them the problem and causing them to struggle. And for those people that can't accept the simple solution or the simple answer, they will continue to struggle through life until they accept it. And that means they will stay where they are. In fact, their life will probably get worse because the cost of living continues to increase. For those of you that want to know and want to change, let me explain it to you. Most of us repeat the safe, sorry, most of us repeat the same negative self-talk to ourselves every single month when we go shopping. As I said earlier, we're walking down the aisle, we're picking up our groceries and we get to our coffee, for instance, and we take it, we're going to take it off the shelf and we see the price has increased dramatically. And we turn, in our mind, we say to ourselves, I, I simply can't afford that. I can't afford that. The mind accepts everything that we say to be true. It doesn't matter whether it's true or not. The mind accepts it to be true. There is, there is a saying that says, 
If you think you can do it, or you think you can't do it, you're both right. And I'm going to try and explain that in a little bit more detail to you, so to help you understand what it actually means, and how the mind can limit us. So let's say you were at high school and you were in the athletics team and you were a high jumper. And they set the bar at 1.5 meters and you were clearing it easily with no problem. Why were you clearing that height? Because you believed you could do it. They then shift the bar up to 1.8 meters and you keep taking the bar off. You keep hitting the bar. You can't get over it. Even after months and months of practice, you're still unable to jump over the 1.8 meter bar. And the reason is because you don't believe you can. The truth is that the world record fire jump is sitting at 2.36 meters. So we all know that it's possible to jump 1.8 meters high. But you have convinced yourself that you can't do it. And you believe that you can't do it. And that is why you can't do it. You see, if you believe that you can, or you believe that you can't, you're both right. If you believe that you cannot afford to purchase something, then you will never afford to purchase it. By doing that, we end up sabotaging ourselves. We limit our income potential because we would be lying to ourselves otherwise. In other words, the minute we start getting more money, we could then afford to buy the coffee, but that would make us a liar. So what our subconscious does is it sabotages us from earning more money so that we can't buy the coffee because we've told ourselves we can't do it. It's amazing how simple it is and how powerful it is. The thing is that we must not beat ourselves up over this. This is something that we have been indoctrinated our whole lives. We've been indoctrinated with this. Our grandparents did it, our parents did it, we do it. And if we don't stop it, our children will do it as well. We accept second best. We go to the shop, we say we can't afford it, we buy the cheaper product. We downgrade our lifestyle. And why should we? As we get older, our lifestyle should improve. It should not be downgraded. As I said, the sad thing is that we're passing this on to our children. We need to break the cycle now. We need to stop this. Do you want your children to be second best? No, of course not. We want our children to be the best, have the best, the best, and become the best. The best thing about this is that we can change it. It's quite simple. The self-talk that you should give yourself at the end of the month when you're doing grocery shopping is, gosh, that coffee's become expensive. What can I do to make sure that I can purchase it next month? and in the future. I get very sad when I watch a young mother with her two children in the trolley, in the supermarket, walking around aisle to aisle, buying their groceries. And she gets to the coffee and she reaches out and takes the Nescafe coffee because that's what she likes to drink. And before she gets it to the trolley, she looks back at the shelf to see what the price is. And you can see the shock, the anger on her face when she realizes that 
and she says to herself that I can't afford this anymore. The Next thing that kicks in is the embarrassment as she puts it back on the shelf because she thinks people are watching her. She then looks around and if she's comfortable again, she then takes the second best or the cheapest coffee on the shelf. I don't believe that the amount of money one can save in a trolley of groceries by taking the cheaper product and the no-name brand, by taking second best, will ever be enough to change your lifestyle. What I mean by that, it will never, you'll never save enough on a trolley of groceries to uplift yourself. So why do you want to downgrade yourself? Why not buy the coffee that you love? It's not going to make, it'll make a difference to your stature, to how you feel, but it'll definitely not make a difference to your bank account. You see, we deserve the best. Don't make excuses. Take the best product that you love and purchase it. Not because your friend comes over once a week and they drink Nescafe and you actually hate Nescafe. That is just dumb. It's got to be something that makes you feel good. Thank you very much for listening to me this week. I hope to see you soon in the next video. And drop a comment if you feel that I could explain something a bit better more in, more, in more detail and let me know if this helped you, these tips that I'm giving you. Thank you very much. Bye.